Hello, it's Missy from The Art Room. I wanted to make a few videos to show you a little bit of what we've been doing inside the classroom lately um, and give you some projects to work on at your own home. This year in art, we've been learning all about famous artists. We've learned about the big ones so far, Picasso, Monet, Van Gogh, Kandinsky, and right now we're learning about Leonardo da Vinci. What I love about Leonardo is that he was more than just a painter. He was a musician, he was an inventor, and a writer, and he was even a scientist. So what I wanted the kids to do was explore each of those fields of learning um, in the art classroom. So we've been doing little science experiments every day um, that they come and they get to explore the wor world of science. So I'm going to share with you a few of our science experiments that we've done in class so far. This science experiment is one of their favorites and it's so super easy to do at home. You just need a few things that you can probably find just right there in your kitchen. First, you will need milk. Um, 2% or whole milk is best. I ended up buying just a little thing of half and half because I don't drink milk at home. But anything that is high in fat content. You will need some dish soap, some Q-tips, and some food coloring. After you gather all of these supplies, you will need a shallow dish. You can use a plate um, or just a shallow dish like this baking dish. Something that is flat. A bowl does not work. I tried. <laughs> so you will need to pour the milk and make a very, very thin layer on the bottom of your pan. You want to pour just enough that it coats the bottom. Now what you want to do is take your food dye and make mm, about four dots per color in the middle of your dish. can explore with patterns and designs. After you do that, you can let it sit for just a little bit as it will expand. And in the meantime, pour some of your dish soap in a shallow cup or bowl and dip your Q-tip in the dish soap. You want to coat it um, so that it has a decent amount of dish soap on it. What I did with the kids is I made a countdown from five, build up the anticipation, count down and have them watch the colors explode. What you want to do is put the q-tip just right on the surface and don't touch it down to the bottom of the pan. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. If you did it right, you should watch the colors explode out to the corners of the pan. You can move your Q-tip around, give it a swirl. So there you have it. You've got exploding milk um, and the kids just love to do it and it's super easy, inexpensive and creates lots of fun.